yung ngilingig na stories. Okay na buo yung ngilingig stories. Ang ginawa namin, una, gumawa kami ng uh, mga ngilingig shorts na amin mga stories. Muna namin. Uh, Then other filmmakers. So, nag-connect kami, nag-gather kami sa mga ibang uh, filmmakers like si Arby Barbarona, meron din siyang mga nilig. Mm-hmm. So, parang that was during 2013 na parang uh, inol ko yung lahat ng mga filmmakers sa uh, Davao na may mga ganun na mga kwento. At saka yun, nabuo yung first uh, nilig festival during 2013. So, parang ano siya, curated siya. And then, mm-hmm. as go along, minsan minsan may year na walang festival kasi minsan gumagawa din kami ng pelikula but uh, uh, 2017 yata ka Jay no na, na, na pumasok parang na-invite namin si Jay and then nabuo din yung pasalidahay so uh-huh. ang ginawa namin na uh, dapat may organizer yung festival para parang may community may group talaga so uh-huh. Jay, head programmer namin kasi daming mag-unit film si Jay so and parang segue ko din yun kay Jay para hindi ko maubos yung kwento ko <laughs> oh, Jay, ikaw daw Jay, nandiyan ka ba? Ayan, kumalaw na si Jay oh. Tugto ka ba daw yung oh, kwento yun. ni Tama yung sinabi ni <laughs> Uh, tama naman yung sinabi ni, ano, ni Bagani. Nag-start talaga siya as Davao, Davao Ngilngig. And then, noong 2017, kasi nga, um, marami din, naisipan namin na mag-program ng ibang shorts. Kasi, like ako, um, nakakapanood din ako ng mga short films from Cinema Region. So, nakikita ko na marami din Ngilngig short films from other regions. So, Hmm. Yun, naisipan namin na mag-come up ng isang uh, parang section on uh, regional, fi- uh, re- yun, mga ngilingig shorts from the regions. And then, hmm. um, in the following year, nag-open up na din ng ngilingig short films na from other parts of Asia. So, hmm. una, ano pa lang, um, parang apat pa lang yata yun, Indonesia, Thailand, Malaysia, Singapore. Tapos, okay. yun na, last year... Yun na yung um, umabot na ng mga submissions from Japan, um, ano pa ba yun, mga ibang Asian countries. Tapos may mga international submissions din kasi, so sabi namin, gawin na lang din na, gawin na natin may international section, may Asian section, tapos may Philippine section, tsaka yung mga workshop films, which is kasali yung mga pinalabas natin kanina. Ayan. Speaking of workshop films, para makausap na rin natin, ang, ano ba to Mga unang nabiktima ba to ng ngilingig? Charot, joke. <laughs> Pero ilan to sa mga uh, na turuan sa film camp? Ng ngilingig film camp, tama, no? Ayan. So, kasama natin ngayon, uh, Joseph Malabar. Yes, dalawa kami Joseph. Hello, from the Hello. film Balbal. Yan ba siya? Hello po. Yeah. Hello, good evening. Ayan. Kasama din po natin from uh, the film po kawa ko, Direct Pia Duran. Hello, good evening. Ayan, hello po. And kanina nabanggit nga natin, ano, filmic. bakit yung festival director nag-film camp din? Si Achuk Boulevard, uh, Drag Magani Fiola. Hello ulit, pabati ulit, ganyan. And then Lazarus Strip, we have Joy Dalman. Hello po. And from Pamalugu, we have uh, the producer. Tama ba, Jay? Yeah. Producer, Miss Melissa Claire Barrera. Hello po. Ayan, party. Dami natin. Ayan. So, una kong tanong po muna. Uh, kamusta kayo ngayong quarantine? Anong mga pinagkakabalahan nyo dyan? Unahin natin si Miss Joy. Napaka-meaningful yung unang tanong, no? <laughs> Nakamute ka po. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry. Okay lang. Okay lang. Okay lang. Okay lang. Nag-wait lang for classes to start. Pero um, all things considered, okay lang. Okay, nag lang ng klase. 
wala pa bang wala ng announcement si Chad ba? Chad ba o DepEd? Um, meron na but September pa. Ah, buti yeah. pa kayo kasi dito sa Cagayan nag-start na sila tapos required daw ang school uniform sa mga estudyante. <laughs> Kahit online. <laughs> Legit. <laughs> Oh, as in nagano sila, nagkaroon ng memo na required ang school uniforms. Si Miss Pia, nito nakaraan lang nakita ko na judge siya sa Popcom. Ano pa mga pinagkabalan mo ngayong ano? Ngayong quarantine season. Ah, uh, ngayon um kasama ko sa Docs by the Sea. So, kinakabalan ko ngayon ang aking documentary about the environment. Ayun. Yes, abangan natin na ano yan ma-produce. Baka kapag shoot ka ba kahit may COVID. Oo, tinatry ko. Kasi um, very 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 crucial din kasi ngayon ang environment kahit may COVID. Mm-hmm. And si Miss Melissa, uh, sabi naka high heels ka pa daw habang hinihintay namin. Kaya medyo natagala. <laughs> <laughs> ano ba yung work na ano, sa kagaling? Anong work yun? Hi. Uh, so, yeah. Um, kakagaling ko lang from work. Um, and it's true, nag high heels ako, so I was um, a bit you know, very slow when I was like, okay. Tama ako. <laughs> but, please, Jay. <laughs> uh, so, okay naman, um, during the quarantine, um, wala. Um, different na kasi yung context, I think, in the European Union and um, in, in Asia at the moment. But I think, you know, Um, it's good na Asia is still very much concerned of the virus kasi dito parang there's a lot of deniers already mm-hmm. and dami nang para anti-maskers and stuff like that but I think like really guys you have to um, take this um, uh, situation seriously so yeah um, during the quarantine yeah we're trying to just um, be mindful of our wellness ganun lang Um, mentally and physically. So, yeah. Akala ko nag-joke lang si Jay na may international guest tayo. <laughs> Talaga pa. <laughs> Sorry. Kaya ko nagulat, sabi ko, ay, wait lang. To be honest, hindi ko alam anong nangyayari. So, ano na ako nangyayari dito. Okay, then and, thank you still for inviting. Yeah. Hmm. Pero maganda po, maganda yung film na pinroduce niya. Mamaya pag-usapan natin yan. Si Joseph, para ano lang, makakumusta din natin. Ako, so, kayo pong Joseph po yung in-interview ko po, hindi yung sarili ko po. Uh, <laughs> Sir Joseph, Direk Joseph, kamusta ka naman? Hi Joseph, o oh, diba? <laughs> um, well, um, I'm on the other spectrum from what Joy said. So I'm also working in the academe. So she, mm-hmm. she's waiting for classes. I'm also waiting for classes. But as a as a as a teacher, so yeah, uh, the quarter has been really difficult since um, mobility is limited. So mm-hmm. you, so everything is cut short. But we're trying to make the most out of it, siguro. So now I'm focusing more on graphics and um, promotions. Mm-hmm. Required din po bang uniform sa mga teachers? No, no, no. We don't require <laughs> well, Definitely not. Yung complete uniform ka pa, no? kala mo naman kita sa buong camera. Oh, Pero ayun. Ah. <laughs> as long as naka-Netflix aesthetic, according to Jay. <laughs> o ba? Ang taas naman ang standards. Ang iba nga webcam lang ng, ano, ng laptop na ano, malabo-labo pa sa ibang teachers. Pero anyways, ayan, pag-usapan lang natin yung mga pelikula. Unahin natin siguro si Direk Bagane. Uh, saan po ba hinugot yung storya ng Achuk Boulevard? Uh, experience ba yan? Kayo ba yung killer o kayo yung pumatay sa killer? <laughs> <laughs> parang ano yun eh. Parang tatlong story yung story. Yung isa yung kwento ng kaklase ko. Uh-huh. Yung isa naman yung experience ko sa Boulevard. May may place kasi dito sa amin, Boulevard. Uh-huh. Na, uh, during that 90s pa, so uh, yun, medyo matagal na na may mga uh, hinahabol ng itak, yung nakikita mo. Uh-huh. During that time, uh, medyo strict yung ano, government. So, uh-huh. dapat umuwi ka ng maaga kasi may mga kwento na mga ganun. May mga nyayari sa'yo. May mga ano. At saka yung uh-huh. na, 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 
pinatay pinatay yung ano yung flasher isang isang ano yun, isang kwento ng klasiko sa ka na parang kwentuhan na ano lang tawon yun um, parang it was it started as a joke na na yung naputo lang kamay tapos kunyari ano mangyayari pero pinatay mo yung <laughs> killer ng isang gamit yung buto mo na <laughs> naging ano so parang mga kwento na inspiration experience mo at saka yung parang memories mo uh, mix ganun so nagiging doon nangyari So feeling ko magiging magandang kwento siya for a Davao kasi for a time naging ganun ng Davao. Eh. Oo. Oh. Kasi sa amin dati, sa Mindoro, ang naalala ko noon na folklore na talagang kinatakutan namin, yung white van. <laughs> eh hindi ko alam kung nakarating hmm. din siya hanggang Pilipinas. Kasi alam ko na balita pa yan, naging national news pa yung ina-announce yung plaka ng white van daw na nangunguha ng mga bata. So kami namang mga siraulong high school students, nagtatakbuan every time makakita ng white van. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Tapos meron din yung si Maria Labo, yung may taga na babae sa... Ah. Oh, yeah. Kahit ano eh, parang iba-ibang version yan, di ba? So, mm-hmm. Si Miss Joy naman, yung kanyang Lazaro strip na... Sobrang ganda ng musical score and sound scoring. Nakabisita na po ba kayo na impyerno? Yun po ba yung... <laughs> For five minutes. Joke. Um, um, uh, Lazarus Strip. Um, nag-post yung ngilngig na day one they were offering na uh, mag-film camp sila. And I wanted to join kaso wala pa akong story. Kasi yung requirement nila, kailangan may story from scratch. Like your own story, and na ikaw yung writer, and ikaw yung represent, ikaw mag make. So I wanted to join because beginner pa sa filmmaking, and um, long story short, the day na sa deadline, I had no story, I had no story to submit, and then so I went to my ano na lang, I went to my friends, blah blah blah, and then we had drinks and. Sa harap ng bahay nila, may mango tree. Tapos, mm-hmm. ang laki ng mango tree. Tapos, tapos nag, nag-stereo lang ako at it. Tapos, it came a story ng mga what if may nagsilabasan na mm-hmm. na creatures sa tree. And then, when it came sa reprod na or when nag-undergo na siya sa film camp, it mm-hmm. became into that na. Kasi na direct bagani si Sir J, si Direct TV, at Direct Tang yung mentors. Pero, sinadya mo, feeling ko may political stand ka rin na pinapalabas dun sa Lazarus Strip na tama ba? Kasi may yung mga images na nakikita ko. Mm-hmm. Ba? Ano bang gusto mong sabihin dun sa Lazarus Strip? Are we living in hell na ba? Ganun ba yun? Uh, no. It's During that time? For, no, I, for me, personally, it, it probably, it, It meant differently sa akin kasi um, personally, it's one of my greatest fears is kanang amnesia. And uh, for me, one of the chronic diseases sa uh, Pilipinas of people is that we tend to forget things. Like, bilis makalimot ng history. So, uh, yun yung images na show sa, na show sa Lazarus that those are the images na gusto ko ipakita because those are very important parts of history na we keep on forgetting. And for me personally, it's one of the reasons why nag-decay ang country because we forget that these things have happened and it's happening again. Imagine that. Ganong kalalim pala yung pelikulang yun na ano. Noong una kasi, parang matatakot ka lang, pero yun pala may gusto kang sabihin. Kasi, well, issue talaga yan kung bakit nga ba namimili lang tayo ng kakalimutan. Like yung mga pinatay ng mga EJK, ganyan, kinakalimutan na lang. Pero anyways, kung yung impyerno mo is maingay, yung kay... Ano nga title nun? Pamalubo. Impyerno, pero ang peaceful. <laughs> <laughs> Tinadya ba yun nung director, nung pinuproduce niya yung pelikula, na ang peaceful ang impyerno? Yeah, I mean, uh, yung pelikula, yung Pamalubo, is really um, inspired from the Bagobo folklore. Yung... Mm. So it it was a different kind of like a different take of what hell is all about. So I, I don't know if you 
para kung nakita niyo yung uh, first part where they were talking about what kind of hell is this asa naman ang nag mga bagang mga kalayo where are the fiery um where's the fiery pits of hell and stuff like that and then he, the one of the characters was explaining it's like the judeo christian a uh, version of hell and mm. so they were trying to attempt uh, like unsa na ini na wait our our audiences um, bisaya uh, tagalog english uh, <laughs> tagalog men tagalog men sorry kasi i i keep on uh, <laughs> switching and i'm not sure how to how to respond about that so anyway one week naman po so we embrace all languages yes true, true. <laughs> <laughs> so ayun it um that so that's pamalugo our uh, the version of the bagobo um Hell, which is um um it, it, if you if you read the bagobo folklore when people transition to to death they have to bathe in this um river and yeah uh yun yung parang the the, the, the biggest chunk of the the narrative was them trying to find this river but in 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 the process of um, finding the river they were unpacking so many things and when we were i mean when when the film was pitched to to me and to us i mean actually it was a to me for me it was a community kind of work kasi hindi na, hindi lang naman siya like me producing everything it was just actually to me i was just spearheading some go fund me um and tawag niya uh, yung funding lang pero uh, your campaign yeah pero yung like the camera work everything it was um really you know, Uh, community that um, that made it happen. So, madaming references. Like for example, we wanted to um, highlight Jennifer, the 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 death of Jennifer Love as well. Um, mm-hmm. So referencing yung um, yung nasa loob ng maleta, the trans the trans woman was. Yeah. So yeah, that did I answer the question or what? Hindi po, hindi po. Charot <laughs> yung lang. <laughs> Pero ano tao dito? Uh, yung yung director ba at yung tama ba yung director at yung actor ay siya din yun di ba yes 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 mm. siya yun uh, to, if if i remember correctly uh, nung si, nung ginagawa ni Ram yung film she really wanted to act uh, sa sa film because it was very personal this this film mm-hmm. could be like um, a lot of references from social issues like the nomad mm-hmm. issue the the issues of um um transgender uh, trans- tagging and, mm-hmm. yeah, the, yeah red tagging and stuff like that pero it was also very personal to her it was her love's love letter she would say it was uh, her love letter to you know to to the movement the the movement na gustong mag liberate sa atin but mm-hmm. yeah so, sana yung mga nang red tag yung nasa impierno no <laughs> charot joke lang <laughs> <laughs> ayan si ano naman si Pia Duran uh, yung kanyang film is ano to folklore din pinanggalingan ng pukawa ko yes folklore siya so um It was inspired by a indigenous people's communities here in Davao del Norte. Yun, na parang they offer if they need something. I think it's not just limited to Davao del Norte, but also to other indigenous people's communities who uh, that believe in rituals, believe in um, offering something. Ganun. You're into IP talaga, no? Yung... Well, base doon sa mga iba pang naririnig ko ng mga kwento pinipitch mo, talaga mahilig ka sa IP. Pero ano 'yun? Paano na maintain ng IP na, na alam pa rin nila 'yung pinapaniwalaan din ng mga folklore na 'to. Na kwento ba so, nila? Kasi pinapasa-pasa yeah. ba nila 'yan? Yes, yeah, so it's passed from generations hmm. to generations. So I think it's very crucial from the older generation to really pass it to the younger generation. Since um, times are changing, so uh, it might mean that um, the, these traditions, culture, might fade in the um, in the long years. Yeah. Very well said, candidate number four. Charot, joke lang. 
<laughs> At si Joseph, itong kwento naman ng balbal, hindi ko lang alam kasi yung term, pero may ganito rin sa amin. Pero yung buong bangka yung nawawala. Uh, saan ba galing tong kwento sa'yo, Joseph? Is it, pinaniniwalaan nyo rin ba kaya talaga pinagbabantayan yung mga bangka eh? Uh, well, basically, the, the film was a uh, brainchild of the film camp. So, um, mm-hmm. after... Grus- um, grueling deliberation and pitching to directors Gohetia, to Bugsy, to Jay, to uh-huh. other people from the camp. So basically, we started with the word negligence, then stealing. So um, uh-huh. then we associated the the whole um, belief of um, being like negligent to the dead to towards um, um, this entity we call Balbal, which is a body snatcher. And if mm-hmm. you neglect um, the dead or like if hindi mo siya babantayan while um, on the wake, um, an, mm-hmm. enti- an entity will get it. So then we associated it to, to what do you call this? To mining. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, we linked it to mining, then to, to his brother being, this, to being um, a pickpocket and yeah. So basically, it came from a single word tapos nag-blossom na siya to, to the film in itself. Okay. Tanong ko lang kay Jay, total siya yung isa sa mga nag-ano ng film camp. Sinasadya ba na ano, somehow, sa pagkukwento nila ng mga walk... Eh, sige. Sorry ko ililabel muna natin lahat ng horror films, ha? Kanya. <laughs> Para mas madali lang maintindihan ng mga audience natin. Pero sinadya ba na yung horror films, eh kahit pa paano, nagkaroon ng social issue? O hindi um, talaga siya mapaghihiwalay? I think inherent naman talaga sa storytelling. Um, mm. Kasi yung, yung storytelling and filmmaking ng isang filmmaker or storyteller is parang informed of the environment that they are they belong to so for example uh yun yung nga bring up yung issues ng indigenous peoples um sa kahit sa isang horror film through for example um pagpapakita ng folklore uh, or yung yun sa sinabi ni Pirina no na folklore that is passed on to gen- uh, through gen- to generations so parang sa camp uh, we let them develop their stories uh more of story development kasi yung camp and um siguro mas parang hinohon lang namin yung storytelling na part in terms of yung clarity ng message yung um uh, ano yung gusto nilang sabihin pero we don't say that um you should tackle these um issues kasi um mindanao tayo so parang kailangan andyan yan so parang may mga i- bang films naman that are socially um, conscious or socially informed of like urban realities no so hindi lang naman yung kung ano yung nangyayari sa sa probinsya pero meron ding mga films that um, kagaya ng kay Bagsi it's it's a although hindi siya part ng uh, ng workshop but um, those kinds of films <laughs> informed or informed ah ano mo talaga yung kay Bagsi no? <laughs> And eh, para may distinction lang. <laughs> so yun, informed talaga siya ng environment, in- informed of your, um, kung saan, saan ka nang galing, ano yung mga in- influ- influences mo, parang ganun. So hindi siya parang pilit or parang sinasabi na, oh, kailangan maging socially aware yung, yung, yung films nyo. But I think it goes naturally for filmmakers or storytellers who come from very specific places. Yun. Speaking of technicals naman, uh, siguro tinuturo din siya sa film camp yung mga technical parts ng ano. Pero naalala ko kasi sinabi ni Direct Ed kapag not ganyan na horror films daw ang quintessential cinema kasi magkamali ka lang daw ng isang element, papangit na siya, ganyan. Uh, bawa, OA na sound, pangit na lighting, damay na yung buong pelikula, pangit na siya, ganyan. Or ano, pero si Direk Bagani ba, kapag nagpapa-film camp ka, saan ka pinaka-specific na binabantayan mong elemento sa pagpipilikula, sa paggawa ng horror film? Nakamute po kayo, Direk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
for the technical yan, di ba? Mm-hmm. Pero gusto ko lang sabihin na yung sa film camp talaga, pinaka-importante. Tama yung sinabi ni Jay na uh, hindi... Parang uh, mas gusto namin na, na uh, filmmaker is parang voice talaga. Yung voice, yung mm-hmm. siya talaga yung film. So importante yun kasi... Uh, lahat naman tayo may mga issues, lahat tayo may mga reflection tayo ng society. So, kung gagawin lang natin yung ano talaga yung nasa puso natin, yung talaga yung experience natin, ilalabas din yung, ano, yung mga troubles natin, mga issues natin. So, yun siguro, yun, na, na-reflect ko lang sa sinabi ni Jay na ganun. Pag sa, sa, sa horror naman, sa, sa tinatanong mo na technical, kung ano yung uh-huh. element sa... sa sa ngilig. Siguro, I think ito yung dito, ma, dito ma-explain yung ngilig. Kasi it's, it's minsan kasi may isang isang short film na walang pinapakita ang ghost. Pero pag napanood yung film, ang ghost is, maalala mo yung ano yung na-experience mo na ghost. Yung, yung theme namin last year is the ngilig is you. Meaning to say, parang open tayo dyan sa mga elements na yan. As long as um, alam mo yung language ng filmmaking, paano mo siya i- ipakita, show sa okay. audience para magiging kahit isang color, isang kulay, pink na color, magiging uh, magiging ano siya, magiging sad siya. Kasi okay. para sa iyo, personal mo, sad ang experience mo sa pink na yan kasi siguro namatay yung friend mo na nakapink siya or, or yellow mm-hmm. sa screen natin. So, kahit ano, kung para sa iyo ngilngig yun, so yun ang yung yun yun yung element na parang ini-encourage namin na ano yung ngilngig para sa iyo. So, yun ang ano. ano. Ako ba May kung nalakot ko sa background. Charot. <laughs> <laughs> Para sa ito pero parang something na ganoon. So, Tama ba? Mm-hmm. Ah, ah. Pero tao dito. Ah. Uh... <laughs> Bayan ang yung sound natin. Pero tawag dito, ah, uh, kalimutan ko ito itatanong ko. Pero, sa mga filmmakers ba, pag gumagawa, or pag nanonood kayo ng pelikulang horror, ano yung parang pet peeve nyo? Na instead na matakot kayo, matatawa kayo, or may irita kayo sa pinapanood. Tips lang to ha, kasi may mga nanonood, sa trivia nga pala, aside from Gilnig kasi, merong isa pang horror film fest, pero sa Ilocos Norte siya. Ah, uh, yun, may film festival doon na horror lang yung pinapalabas. So, kung kayo magbibigay ng tips sa mga gumagawa ng horror films, ano yung parang pet tip nyo na parang, ay, wait lang, hindi siya horror, nakakatawa siya, ganyan. Unahin natin siguro, huwag natin, ano, recitation ba o kanya-kanya na? Sige, recitation na lang. Una na si Pia kasi nakangiti na si Pia. <laughs> um... I don't usually watch horror films. Ay, but, totoo. <laughs> oo. But, kaya, kaya nga, um, super fun yung sa ngilngil kasi yun, know, may experience ako gumawa ng horror and in fact, I don't really watch horror. Sige. So, when I watch horror, una ko talagang tinitingnan yung story. Mm-hmm. I think, nairita ako kapag maraming loophole. <laughs> na alam mong, I think, I think, um, everyone can Uh, um, relate kapag maraming loopholes and then hindi siya polish for me. Ayun. May mga bigla-bigla na lang namamatay or pinapatay for no reason. Mm-mm. Ayun. Mm. Okay. Bigyan na, hinga natin si producer. Ay. <laughs> <laughs> si producer naman, kung may binigay sa yung script, anong una mo chinecheck? Is that for me? <laughs> no, to, to be honest, I wouldn't really consider myself like really like an established producer. No, I would really call myself like a cultural worker. And to be like, kung, if, if somebody would ask me to produce, to produce, to manage mm-hmm. some, some films, I would really yeah, want it na my, ano siya, my, my social relevance and something Ooh. that would be at least, ano, um, at least artfully made, you know, um, something na hindi clumsy, something that is um, really, may, may makukuha yung audience mo, something na hindi siya noise. I, I, don't, I don't like things na noisy lang, just 
you know, just to to present something or express something that doesn't really add value to, mm-hmm. to society. So I think maybe yeah, one that would be one of the categories where I don't know if like people would just come up to me and say like, please reduce my film. I don't. I don't. Ayan think, ayan but, na. Yeah, na. Yeah. But I think I think. Uh, uh, kasi yung yung projects naman namin ni Ram even for like not just with films with other you know art um, art arty things <laughs> um, yeah. it's always um, parang the the basis is always you know to to um, to give give something back to at, at least people when 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 they see your work they get something out from it so yeah yun yung ano But on that, I, ju- I just want to answer that thing that your question on the horror films because I also don't um, watch horror films that much. Hello? But maybe the elements <laughs> that doesn't have anything to do with the story, you know, like what, like a sudden sex scene, for example, like why? Why? So you know, Hello. Two out of four, na yung sabi ng dinan ng mga horror. <laughs> Marami tayong audience today. Ang dami nagka-clap. Pero ano, hindi ko pala natanong muna but before yung dalawa. Tsaka iba yung kayong tanong para sa dalawa. Para hindi sila prepared. Hindi ko natanong. Ano ba ibig sabihin ng ngilngig? Sino, sino ang sasagot? Bala kayong dalawa ko sino sasagot. Pero, <laughs> <laughs> oh, ikaw na, Jay. Sige. Ano ba ibig sabihin ng ngilngig? Um... Well, ang pinaka ang ilig kasi um, parang sensorial siya, ibig sabihin na feel mo siya, nakikita um, ano pa ba, naririnig. So parang ma-feel mo, it's a visceral feeling. So parang it's always associated with horror kasi pag natatakot ka, um, iba yung nakinakabahan ka, um nanamawis ka, tapos uh, yun. Yung lahat ng senses mo is parang aware, di ba? Pero parang na-realize din namin na marami, marami palang ibig sabihin din ng ngilngig. That mm-hmm. is not, um, hindi lang siya related sa horror. Pwede ding, um, kasi, pwede ding pag, uh, pag sinabi mong uh, kumakain, ka, kumakain ka ng yung, yung taba ng baboy, mm-hmm. um, di ba, pag kinain mo siya, parang minsan, ano ba sa Tagalog yan? <laughs> ano sa Tagalog yan? Pag, parang, parang luod. Or parang, hindi, yung parang feeling na parang <laughs> sa taste. Ha? Nakakadiri? Nakakadiri? Hindi, hindi naman ay, siya ay, diri. Ay, grabe. Nakaka-umay? <laughs> hindi, umay. Ano yung parang, I'm sorry. <laughs> Nakakaputok pa ito? Parang, basta parang ganun. Oh, so parang, iba-iba naman yung, iba-iba yung feeling ng ngilingig. Parang hindi uh-huh. lang siya related to horror. Pwede rin, um, actually, pwede din siyang amazing. Pwede sabihin mong, uh, for example, uh, may nakakita kang nag-skateboard ng uh-huh. super stunts. Sabi mo, uh, ang uh, kangilingig, kangilingig naman ng skateboard there. Parang ganun. Kasi nagawa niya yung parang ganun klaseng stunts. So, pwede rin amazing. Kaya din yung nag-evolve ang ngilingig from horror to fantastic. Kasi, Di ba may mga fantasy films na parang uh, based on folklore, based on magic, na nasasabi natin na uh, amazing or fantastic. So, kaya yeah, yun. Um, tsaka, ano pa ba, Bags? Tul- tulungan mo. Hindi <laughs> 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 sila sure sa sagot nila. <laughs> Adi, pero nag, ano, nag-comment si Andrew Conde, nanonood siya ngayon. Ang sabi niya, yung ngilingig daw is nakakaumay. Yung parang, hindi naman hindi. yata. Hindi. Di kasi nakakauma is parang di ba nagsasawa ka? Laka fake news ka Andro Conde. <laughs> Hoy Andro. <laughs> Jay, I sent you something. Sabi ko ngilngig is like the negative the neg- form of kilig. <laughs> ah, pwede <laughs> rin. Ba, nakakatakot <laughs> din ang kilig. Same thing <laughs> negative. <laughs> Actually, the kilig is also ngilngig. Oh, oh, exactly. Kilig daw is also. Baka naman nanginginig lang ninig na shake too much of kilig is ngilngig gusto ko lang i-add baka yung yung ano yung ngilngig kasi parang both extremes positive and negative parang mm. beyond but um anything na 
na re- really ano sa senses talaga. Both extremes na senses yung tinatamaan. Parang ganun. Pwede siya maging negative or positive. Ngilingig yung insan na in love. Nakatakot ma in love, di ba? Insan ngilingig. Uh-huh. So, sobrang ano. <laughs> uh, yun yung mga ganun. So both extremes <laughs> siguro na ganun. Senses. Uh-huh. Ayan. So in short, may kanya-kanya pa rin tayong explain. Ay, ayan. <laughs> Ayan. So, in short, may kanya-kanya tayong explanation kung anong ngilingig. Pwedeng in a good way or yung nakatakot. Ganyan. So, sige. From the two naman, si Joy, baka marinig din natin yung makasaysayang line na hindi rin ako nanonood ng horror films. Pero, <laughs> kung ikaw yung tatanungin ko ngayon, Joy, nanonood ka ba ng horror films? Clarify ko lang muna. Occasionally. If, ano, if bored. <laughs> Ay, yung occasional music eh. Anong Easy horror film yung kasi. napanood mo na ano, na top of mind paborito mo or nagustuhan mo? Shining. Yeah, The Shining. Top of my mind, The Shining. Bakit? Kasi ano, The Shining ni Kubrick ano, parang so different from every, like, almost all na horror films na parang like It's it's not full of jump scares, parang ano siya. It's a feeling na horror film parang so psychological din siya. And at the same time, iba yung ano yah. Yung the way he used the sound, yung yung shots niya, everything. So the shining is genius. So yeah, top one man the shining. The shining. Stephen King. Si Joseph naman. Ano po yung pinaka ayaw? Charot nge. Ano? <laughs> Top of mind, pinakagusto nyo naman na ano, horror film? Um, wait lang. Ano ba? Siguro Get Out. Oh. Yes, Back Get Out. Um, the, the subtle imagery and symbolisms of Jordan Peele throughout this movie is, is nice. Uh, hindi siya in your face eh. Uh, although we know it's all about um, racism, but but there were hints to it. It was not given directly to the audience, but um, it was slowly shown through the film. Hindi siya yung uh, hindi niya inisip ng audience bobo, di ba? So it was slowly given to the audience. Yeah, sorry, Ayan, sorry. get out na rin siya from his frame. O oh, hindi. Oh, hindi. hindi. Inalaw ko lang konti. Okay. <laughs> Kala ko sorry, sorry. May, may ano, may sang- lighting ng likod si, ng ano, si Sir Perry. Uh-huh. May nga nga factor ba? Ano yun? Ngilngig, awesomely amazing. Yan yung mga explanation ni Tito Perry. May, may nga nga factor. Hmm. Ito goosebumps din ngilngig. Goosebumps. Parang like can sa feeling nga. Goose- And you feel goosebumps. Okay. Hindi rin sure sila, Jay, tsaka si Bagani. <laughs> Boy, pero ang sure ko, tinawag ko dito si Jay kasi alam ko ko moderator siya, ganyan. So may mga tanong ka ba, Jay, na hindi mo na tanong nung film camp sa kanila? Ayan na po. Alam ko talaga kasi moderator ka dito, Jay. Ginawa kitang panelist. Moderator? Bila. <laughs> um... Uh, ano ba? Ay, ito na lang muna before sila sumagot. Ito lagi mo itong tinatanong sa mga guests natin sa hmm. mga quarantimes noon sa ibang episodes. Pero kasi ito mga napanood natin is horrors, horror or amazing ngilngig films or from tales. sa Mindanao. Ganyan. Hmm. Paano siya nagtatranscend na ma-appreciate din from the different regions? Hmm. Or parang ang tanong mo yata noon is what is the identity of something mm. of a uh, Mindanao ngilngig story and what made mm. them uh, na-appreciate ng ibang regions. Tama ba yung pagkakatrans? Mm. Ano, mm. Para uh, phrase. Mm. So, yun. Unay natin si ano, founder ng ngilngig. <laughs> <laughs> Direk Bagane. Kasi alam ko may mga naging entries na rin kami from North Luzon na naipasa sa ngilngig. Pero mm. yun. 
paano napapanood Favorite or paano namin yung ano, song ng us. other regions yung films from <laughs> the Mindanao Unique Park. Ang ano, from North Luzon na pumunta last 2017 mo pa yun. Chong As, tsaka Lapaw, oo, oh, yun. Uh, actually, yan. Uh, hindi na kasi yung mga ganun. Kanya-kanya tarang mga nilipos natin. But what makes it ngilngil is siguro ano, um, the, the name it's, itself na ngilngil siya. So, mas ano siya eh, mas relatable siya sa mga bis, na gumagamit ng ngilngil, like Bisaya, Mindanao. Um, pero ako lang kung may ano siya sa Luzon, may, may word siya na the same na ngilngil. Ano ba? Mm-hmm. Baka meron o hindi lang namin alam. Goosebumps daw. Inglisero kami. Charot joke. <laughs> <laughs> hindi ko pa rin, ano, hindi ko pa rin siya ma, ano ba, nakapanindig ba lahibong haba naman. So, Iba din yung inig eh, di ba? Mm-hmm. Pero it sounds the same sila, di ba? Mm-hmm. Pero yun nga, hindi siya, hindi lang siya limited sa Mindanao. And then what makes it real inig is siguro the name itself na parang dun sa story mo, yung naging basis mo, ano yung, at siguro maganda din kasi siya, kasi para yung definition ng ngilngig is hindi siya, uh, hindi siya close, kumbaga, magiging, magiging, pwede siyang mag-morph into something kung depende kung ano yung definition ng ngilngig sa isang, ano, reader or isang creator para sa kanya. So, I think that, that yun ang pinaka-importante na magiging ngilngig identity niya talaga. Ayan. May comment po si Tito Perry sa Facebook. Sana po hindi magalit si Joseph M. Charot. Pero sabi niya, naunawaan ko na product pala ang piyesang balbal sa Ngilngig Film Camp. Nasayangan ako sa cuts at design elements. Awayin niyo na lang po si Tito Perry sa comment niya. Charot! Ayaw ng negative critic. Hindi <laughs> 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 po tayo ganun mga filmmakers. Oh, okay, sorry, 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 sorry. What was it? Sabi niya is, ano, nasayangan ako sa cuts at design elements. Naunawaan ko na product pala ang piyesang balbal sa Ngilngig Film Camp. Yes, because that was, that was the time sa camp na you were only given the, the whole night to shoot. And it was in a, it was in a limited space. Yun, yun pa yung time na Ngilngig Film Camp, uh, you can, um, hindi naman say you can't take the film out of the camp, but um, mm. encouraged to do the film inside the camp. So it was a lim- in limited space, in limited time, mm-hmm. and in limited resources. But we, I think we made the most out of it out of the six hours or four hours that we've shot it. Mm-mm. And yun. But I also believe that we could have improved it a lot. Mm-mm. Uy, pero maganda. Maganda naman si Balbal. Oo. Nag-transcend yung kwento. Ang ganda niya actually. Ang galing daw ng acting ni Koy Koy na Kario doon. Yes. It's in a head roll. The consistency. Ganun. Actually, sa, sa consistent niya, nakatulog na siya while shooting it. <laughs> Totoo ba? Oh, Pero oh, ano, pag, na, pag ba, ba, isang shooting. araw lang yung shoot lahat with regard oh, sa film camp? It was only the whole done from the second day to the third day and we edited it. Oh. Para siya naging filmathon actually. Ay, ang saya pala. Without na, the pit stops, mm. minus the pit stops. Mm. Clarify ko lang, clarify ko lang, Joseph, yung Yung Babal kasi was a product of uh, 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 film um, uh, film uh, workshop film noong 2017. Yes, 2017. And then Pokawa ko was 2018. And then um, yung 2017 kasi yun pang time na parang yun nga, 24 hours or less pa uh, kailangan siyang i-shoot. Pero yung following years, um, nag-require na kami na parang um, one month na siya issued, so parang at least daily way naman yung filmmaker to develop story and improve on the mm. elements. So. And I think Jay, yung kila Joy was um, sa camp, basically it was the script lang talaga, diba, the story. Hmm. Script, uh, uh, sa sa amo? Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah, script and story. Eh, pero parang sa yun ng camp, ano yun, nag- required sila magstay ba? Stay in ba sila nun? Oo. Oh, oh. May fire, ano? May bonfire. Bonfire. 
May fire. For three days. May fire. Pero ano, speaking of, uh, ayan, total nag-stay in kayo, tapos katatakutan itong mga pinaggagawa niyo mga pelikula. Ano yung mga personal yung kwento katatakutan na naranasan? Meron ba? Actually, meron. Kilig ba yan o nginig? Uh, both. <laughs> <laughs> Ay, unahin natin yung ano, yung nginig tapos pasadaan natin ang kilig. Unahin natin yung nginig. Ano nangyari sa iyo nung kam? Um, sa akin po. Ayan. Ah, Joseph? Ako po ba? Ako po. Ako po yung Joseph. Ako ba, Joseph? Joseph. Sino ba? <laughs> sige, sige. Ikaw ka ba? Ayan, sige, ikaw, Joseph. Oh, yes, nun kasing isang... Nangyari sa camp, sa, sa, sa rooms namin upstairs. Nag-away kami ng isa kong groupmate sa camp. Um, after nun, um, bumaba ako and actually the whole, the whole um, parang dorm type siya eh. The whole dorm was, was really weird. Parang kasi it's dark, it's it's old. Tapos sabi nung kasama ko, pagbaba ko daw, pagkatapos naman ay, nag-away kasi maingay. Pagbaba ko sa CR nung room na yon may umiiyak when there was no one there. So yun, parang kinento namin yun sa aming team. Tapos yun, natakot na din lahat sa amin. So yun, wala namang kilig, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Akala ko yung iyak is, ano, bigla mong ikokomfort yung umiiyak sa bahay niya. Ta- na Sana nga, merong ganun, Joseph, pero wala. <laughs> How about the others? Meron din ba mga ganun experience, nginig or kilig during the camp? Eh, hindi natin sinisiraan yung camp ha. Nag-aabang well, lang tayo. Kasi may mga enthusiast talaga na mga ganyan. Can I just <laughs> add, we are, we are in an area that's secluded from the city. Like, nasa oh. malayo kami place. And it's, parang, nasa gitna talaga kami ng, ano tawag doon? It's, it's a resort ba siya? I don't think you can call it a resort. Mountain parang, resort. Parang uh, mountain, mountain resort. resort. Oh. Ayun. Mm. Sila ano, sila Pia, Joy, may masyashare ba kayong kwentong kilig or ni, uh, nginig? <laughs> Nung film camp? Um, sa film camp, unfortunately, wala. Actually, nag-look forward ko nga, you know, bucket list. <laughs> na rich <something>, expectations. <laughs> a- a- aside sa learning from stuff, it would have been great if na something from Davao. Bit-bit na story. But, no, actually, ano lang. Just learnings and fun with new nginig people and Davao. Mm-hmm. <laughs> gusto niyo bang mag- gusto niyo bang next time horror house na talaga yun, ano haunted house thing next na ano? <laughs> interactive na horror na story oh. dev oh baka makapulot na inspirasyon kapag lumulutang na yung mga gamit pero may pero kami kasi na experience namin dati nung mag-shoot kami ng isang full length tapos syempre nagtitipid ah uh, nagquarters kami sa isang abandonadong resort ganyan. Tapos, sa, ta- sa tabi ng pool na puro lumot na, may nakalagay doon na hindi namin sagutin kapag tumalun yung ano, tapos nalunod, ganyan. Tapos sa bintana, din nakalagay din na kapag tumalun yung mga tao, hindi rin sagutin ng resort. So parang, ang kwento-kwento kasi ang dami namatay, ganyan. So, yung mga kwento ng film crew namin, minsan kapag natutulog, bigla-bigla na lang bababa yung foam, ibig sabihin may tumabi. Tapos yung production designer namin, pinato ng mga pubilya na walang tao, ganyan. Kasama namin si Tuperi noon. Ewan ko kung naalala niyo yung mga kwento katatakotan namin nung nagsushoot kami. Pero anyways, uh, isang oras na pala rin tayo nagsichikahan. Ganyan. Uh, ano bang ano pa? Ano pa bang inilook forward natin sa ngilinig? Ano ba mga plans nyo in the coming days? May call for entries na ba for a film camp na lahat naka-face shield at PPEs? Ganyan. Pagaan eh. Um, Dere, dire, ano plano mo for this year? Ale, for this year, hindi pa namin ito na-announce. Pero we're, uh, syempre, yung nagiging mangyayari ngayon, halos lahat nagiging online na. Uh, mm-hmm. So, hindi kami po, mag-online hindi kami. And then for the film camp, yun talaga yung parang, kumbaga, dami namin plans last year for this year. Mm-hmm. But unfortunately, hindi siya mangyayari. But, uh, yung yung program director namin si Miss Angeli Chi uh, mm. na magkaroon ng call pa rin na parang for the for the camps na or mga camp na nagiging filmmaker sa camp na makagawa sila ng film out 
out from the previous uh, project nila. Yung parang recycle. Mm-hmm. So parang yun ang haabangan na hindi pa namin na-announce. Pero na-announce ko dito. Hindi mo ba Ayan. Secret ba dapat? Ganyan. Pero hindi pa naman, hindi pa naman yun siya. Ano. So, wala pang rules, wala pang guidelines. So, wala pa tayo. Ano. Guys, guys. Jay, maliban niya kasi hindi ka dami mong racket. Jay, ikaw na, dami mong racket. Tama pa? May Mindanao Film Fest na nangyayari, tapos pa sa Lidahay. Hindi, <laughs> wala. Ano yan? Labor of love for, for Mindanao Film. <laughs> Aww. Oh. So, ano nga, ano, ano mga ganap this, ano, ma- kung in-announce na ni Pagano yung sangilnig, ano ba nga abangan naman sa Pasalidahay pa at saka Mindanao Film Fest? Um, sa, um, titingnan, uh, gaya din siguro nung ginagawa ngayon ng MFF, baka tingnan namin yung past, um, past, um, entries, tsaka, hmm. kasi, Maraming magaganda doon sa mga past entries din uh, from the very start. Mm-hmm. At least um, because of online ano uh, screenings yung pag-shift natin to virtual ano uh, mode mm-hmm. ng consumption of films. Baka may mabibigyan naman ng platform or opportunity yung mga hindi pa nakita before. So yun mm-hmm. baka um, parang rerun din siya ng ibang ano ibang uh, ngilig films. How about yung mga filmmakers po? May mga upcoming ba na showings din? Uh, projects na abangan? Baka po may TikTok na kayo na pwede nang i-follow, ganyan. Sanayin so, natin yung from yung international guest natin. Hina daw siya producer, cultural worker. Ano mga upcoming mo? I mean, uh... I'm, I'm, I'm coming back home. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> and, uh, of course, <laughs> of course. Uh, I mean, we're still trying to think of like a, a new film to produce, something that. Because mm-hmm. c- to me, I feel like um, I'm going to be working with uh, Ram, the director of mm-hmm. Pamalu for quite a long time. So, um, during the quarantine, then, we talked about what are the her visions and You know, I'm always like the the kind of person that I like to be on the background. I like to I like to do things. Na, I, I like to make things happen. So, um, so I heard that she's um, um, coming up with a story that's inspired by a, a theater, like a short um, a short story. But I think it's a it was based on a theater piece. It's called The Maids. So, yeah, let's um, watch out for her. And mm-hmm. yun lang. TikTok account po? Um, no, wala. <laughs> wala. <laughs> Sad. O, follow nyo si Melissa para kung gusto nyo ano, kung gusto nyo makakita ng ano, sites Nam? ng Slovit. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> If you want to see me, just follow me everywhere. Oh, <laughs> talaga <laughs> nag-promote. <laughs> Promoting <laughs> myself. <laughs> Yeah. How about si Miss Joy na madaming fan base kanina for Joy the Queen, Joyce Bernal of Ngilingig, mga ganyan. Oh my God. God, uh, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so kayo, no. Yeah, parang kung natin yung statement. No, I mean like sa Queen na na-comment, sa Queen na comment. God, no. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I would like to clarify myself before, ano. Um, <laughs> actually, ano, si... Someone from the film camp, yung kabatch ko, si Neo Bryce. He, oh. uh, nag, ano siya, nag, we spoke before na, na, na meron siyang na-write na for a short film. Tapos, mm-hmm. ano yun kasi, yung genre parang uh, dystopian din na medyo, na, ganun yung feel, uh, feel yung medyo dystopian at the same time. Medyo mm-hmm. uh, post-apocalyptic. Tapos gusto niya na, magkipag-collaborate and maybe we could learn from each other. So, yeah. Pero in pre-prod po siya kasi mahirap mag-ocular. Even, I, I gusto ko sana mag-ocular ngayon, especially na maraming isolated areas lately. Kaso it's hard kasi ECQ. So, I'll put on hold muna siya until the world gets slightly a bit better. 
<laughs> on cue, on cue. <laughs> Wait, na- nainggit kasi kami kay Vic nung nakarami meron siyang soundboard na may paklap siya, may patawa, ganyan. So, si Jerome po yan nagtitek. Ganyan. <laughs> so, si ano naman, si Miss Pia, kanina meron kang nasabi mga Docs by the Sea. Meron pa bang ibang other screenings or ano pang aabangan natin? Um, right now, uh, we are trying to make a documentary quarantine style mm-hmm. version. It's it's ex- it's experimental, so I'm not yet sure how to uh, to finish it. But I think we need to finish it because um, the topic is very crucial. Mm-hmm. Ayan. Ayan. fans. And last but not the least, si Joseph Malabar. Abangan na ba natin yung kwentong kilig mo? Actually, wala talaga. It would take 20 more years <laughs> before yun. Sana nga. Jay, you're willing to produce my kwentong kilig ba? <laughs> uh... Parang mahirap siya, di ba? Hey, meron, meron na kaming ano, nung February before nag-lockdown, before everything went to lockdown, mm-hmm. nag-organize kami ng Davao Kilig. Film Festival. <laughs> Ayun na, Joseph. You got your answer. Na-feature na pala yung kwentong kilig ko. Totoo. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, no, February. Congrats na ano kwentong kilig. <laughs> no, kidding aside, um, currently, <laughs> I am writing this um, short story, a uh, short, yeah, short story for for a film. Um, mm-hmm. It's basically just about snakes and finding oneself. Shut up. Wow. Snakes? <laughs> diba? Snakes, oo, ahas. Ang dami kasi niyan. Kapaligid. <laughs> Alakay ng galit mo sa mga ahas, ha? Oo, oh, oh, kaya nawala ang kwentong kilig ko. Galit <laughs> na galit. Sino man po yung ahas po na nang agaw dun sa kwentong kilig niya, no? Oo, oh, actually, dun ko siya papatayin sa film. <laughs> <laughs> Tapos okay. gagawin mo na lang siyang puno ng saging yung pagpupurulan sa kanya. Oo, oh, oh, ganun. No, so, may, na, may ano pala kanina, may magandang idea for ang Hilnig film. Shoot ka lang sa labas because we're living in hell na nga daw. Charot. Pero anyways. <laughs> so yan. So yeah, to continue, sorry. I record lang on news. <laughs> sorry, nagdegress. Um, yeah, I'm currently working with um, I'm currently working with a team that's building mm-hmm. a digital platform that showcases um, all the platforms and recently we just added film to it so you guys better be excited about it we're calling it Tambayayong Dabawenyo and we'd be launching it on October wow. so yeah it just started as a um, as an a traveling exhibition of Mindanaoan tapestries and now we're bringing it to the digital platform so you yeah. I'm really happy about this project congrats ayan support bigla. Ah, Wala bang ngilinig BL? Charot, joke lang. <laughs> I think malapit na. Ay, totoo. Hindi yung nanalo, <laughs> di yung nanalo sa kilig. Nanalo sa kilig ng February BL yun. Ay, totoo. Hindi pa, sigat, hindi pa kaputukan ng BL nun. So, hindi pa siya na-label as BL. But anyways, kami magpa-plug din pala. Uh, meron din kami mga sinusuporta ang projects dito sa quarantine. Si Neo Bryce, uh, alam ko na sa GC siya ni, ano, ni Carlo Obispo, ang tawag sa kanila is Team Brownout. Uh, nagkakaroon sila ng mga story development and consultations. Yes, nagbigay po ng time si Carlo Obispo na magkaroon pa rin ng ano. Sa Panday Pluma siya, tapos naging Team Brownout kasi laging Brownout sila Carlo Obispo. Pag, ano. Tapos, isa pa, we have, uh, we're supporting Denise O'Hara kwento, script, online script writing workshop uh, that will be on August 29. Tawag dito. Ang, ang pinaka ano, is uh, output based siya so ina-expect na yung mga participants is makatapos ng full end script. For more details, bisitahin nyo yung kwento. And uh, last last season, oh, last season meron tayong sinuportan din na uh, online acting class with Miss Anjali Bayani. Ayan. So, biglang may nagpa-merch. Charot. Pero meron ng batch 2 for batch 2 ng uh, online cla- online master class ni Anjeli Bayani. For more info, visit nyo naman yung page ni Miss Anjeli Bayani which is Anjeli Bayani. So kung gusto nyo maturuan kayo ng isang national uh, national treasure daw, tawag sa kanan. Ang <laughs> 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 Mali pa yan sa sakin kong pangalan. <laughs> Pero 
Tapos bukas, we have Halicon Films. Uh, mga from Cavite naman yung ating mga filmmakers bukas. Uh, uh, tapos yung batch to ng Ilnig. For tomorrow, we have Tubero, Balut, and Cadena. Uh, films natin na ipapalabas sa Halicon. Uh, sa online film lab at sa quarantines, mga Halicon films yan. And abangan nyo rin uh, yung talk ni Richard Legaspi, which is Docu It, Docu Yourself, uh, paano pag-shoot mag-isa. Ganyan. Nagbebenta ka na rin ba ng merch ng Ilnig, <laughs> ano, Jay? online shopping, pamain, gano'n. Ganyan namin kayo, Meron just kami, ano. Meron, Meron ba ganyan namin kayo yung ano? Meron kami prototype ng ano, um, tawag nito, coaster. Pamain na lang po. <laughs> Meron ding budots. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, napas, maganda yung budots. Tutuloy ko. Na-feature din natin dito sa quarantine. So, ayan. Before tayo magtapos, meron kaming pang Miss Universe question para sa lahat. Total karamihan ng guests is uh, babae. Bagay na bagay yung tanong. Pinaghirapan namin pag-isipan itong tanong na to. Uh, despite the pandemic, despite na ang hirap-hirap mag-shoot, despite na magastos mag-shoot, minsan wala pang kwentong kilig, ang tanong lang po namin is, bakit nga ba kayo nagpapatuloy? Unahin natin, candidate number one, yung naglakad papunta dito na naka-high heel. International cultural worker and producer. And to name it all, Miss Melissa, ba't ka nga ba nagpapatuloy? Because there's no other way but to move wow. on. <laughs> <laughs> there's no other way but to move forward. Oh, man, kasi ano ba? What, what do we do? Di ba? If we, if if we are faced with these adversaries, mm-hmm. we do. We don't. We, either we can do nothing and life still goes on. But you know, like again, the best choice is always to move forward. So yeah, uh, nagpapatuloy dahil ma- dapat magpatuloy. Madaming dapat ipat ipagpatuloy at mm-hmm. ayun. Yan lang. Mm-hmm. Magintay lang ng pax ng next. <laughs> How about si contest, uh, contestant contestant number two, Miss Pia Duran. Ba't ka nga ba nagpapatuloy? Na-pressure ako sa sagot. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I think I can't um, I think I can't bear to witness the collapse of our biodiversity, the collapse of our home. So I think it's time that I or we document it. Ayun. Mm. Si ano nga pala si Tito Perry yung judge natin kung sino man nanalo dito sa Beauty First natin. Kasi ito lang paborito niyang abangang segment yung ating Miss Universe question. Miss Joy Dalman, ba't ka nga ba nagpapatuloy? Sorry, nakamit. Um in terms of filmmaking lang, storytelling or in life in general. Pwede po both. <laughs> Ay, huwag na yung life. It's not, ano. Pero, ano. I mean, ano, I'm, I'm, I'm a believer of stories and their power. And then, yeah. Like, the power that they hold. I believe in stories. We have to keep on making stories because the stories keeps us going. Char. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> stories keep us going. You know. <laughs> Yeah. And uh, Drek Joseph? Uh, yes po. I think I keep on going because there's so much more stories to tell. Um, especially in, this, in these times where pain is evident. I think great stories come from pain and from struggles. And I think if we learn to exhume those, we would create greater stories. Yes. Clap, clap, clap. Late to honor. Ayan. Ayan, <laughs> thank you sa so paklap. And ano, ibay na, i-revise natin ng konti yung question for Bagani and Jay. Uh, in terms of ngilnig, di ba, may pandemic na, may COVID na, na mahirap pa mag-launch or mag-mount na mga film festivals or in physical kasi kailangan ng funding, kailangan ng logistics, ganyan. So same question, pero nilagyan ko lang ng mahabang context. Ba't nga, ba't nga ba nagpapatuloy ang Gilni? Um, ba't nagpapatuloy? Parang ano yan eh. Uh, in, in 
sa akin muna, personal, para siyang calling eh. Ba't may pagpatuloy kung hindi naman, hindi siya para sa'yo? So, mm-hmm. pwede mo, pwede mo naman gawin sa ibang, ibang profession or per- pwede kung baka baka pala mag- naging online seller ka na <laughs> yung pandemic <laughs> baka yun pa yun talaga yung calling mo hindi talaga maker so wag mong pilitin pero the past pandemic kasi nagiging test talaga siya sa atin so kung sino man yung nandito sa atin sino yung nandito ngayon so wala siya Ay. Kaya pagpatuloy natin, sa sangit na oh, kapaling talaga siya. Parang naturally nandyan talaga siya. para siyang uh, napapanaginipan natin na ano ba, hindi totoo talaga. Um, sa, ano yung, sa, ano yung <laughs> isa? Yung question, dalawang question ba yun? Isa lang naman po. Pero bakit nga ba, <laughs> o personally na lang, ba't nga ba nagpapatuloy ang ngilingi? Ay, sa ngilingi. Ah, uh, Yung sa ngilingig naman, parang hindi kasi, hindi lang kasi organizer yung ngilingig kasi para kasi from, from the start kasi mga filmmakers kasi yung gumawa, yung nag-start ng ngilingig. So kami, as a uh, small crew, parang ang idea, ang principle namin is lahat atin, tayo ang mayari ng pelikula, gagawa tayo ng pelikula, tayo walang, may director, may 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 Kasi wala tayong, hindi, hindi ito siya industry, hindi ito siya, hindi natin ito mapag, ano. So parang hanggang sa naging festival siya, hanggang sa nagkaroon ng pasalidahay as the organizer of the festival, so naging community siya. And then even, even nag-expand din siya to not only film but to other forms of art na ngilingig. So parang because of, because of the organizers, because of the... Uh, the audience kasi meron din kaming audience development because of the audience because of the filmmakers the aspiring filmmakers because of the supporters at saka yung mga mentors natin uh, i'd like to mention Terry because he's here no sila sina Beb sina Sherad sina Tang saka sino sino pa yan sina Willie lahat because Willy. of them parang gusto din nila gusto din namin i-impart yung knowledge namin sa film Ang, kung fake ang film, yan ang totoo eh. Yung passion natin na gumawa ng isang fiction na ang reflection sa atin or sa audience, nagiging totoo na. So, nagiging ang ngilingig na sa kanila. Parang nagiging is you. Parang nagiging ganun yung ano. So, patuloy lang kasi nandyan kayo. Nandyan sila. Nandyan yung kagayan ninyo ni Jerome and Jason na pinagpatuloy talaga yung region, region na filmmakers. So, seryoso na part. Pasensya na. <laughs> Ayun lang. Si Jay, baka may madagdag. Wala na. All of the above. <laughs> Ang challenge ko kay Jay, without using all the words na nabanggit na ng mga guests. So, nabanggit na po yung story, nabanggit na po yung film. Pero pangatlong beses mo nang sasagutin itong tanong na to, Jay. At wag mo na rin ulitin yung sagot mo na... Nag-isip ako na iba. Nakikita <laughs> kong, ano, narinig ko na yan ng twice. <laughs> um, ngilingi, anyway, sa ngilingig na context naman, um, um, na, nakikita kasi namin yung ngilingig as something that is um, alternative or alternatibo. So, um, kailangan natin, kailangan magpatuloy namin sa ngilingig kasi aside sa ito yung way of continuing pagpapat, pagpapatuloy or sa Bisaya, um, para, para tinaming sinasabi na padayon lang kahit na yun nga, um, may mga obstacles along the way. Kasi yun yung only way no, ang magpadayon. And parang when you say padayon, um, kalakip dyan yung pag, pag-persist and pag-resist. So, yun. Um, as an alternative, uh, we, we think na alternative pa rin naman ang ngilingig sa dominanteng narrative ng, ng, ano ba, ng sentro, di ba? So, yun. Um, kailangan gawin. Kailangan gawin. Kailangan magpatuloy. Uh, kanina lang nabasa yung, ano, di ba, 
yung post na nabasa ko kanina yung parang ayan wait lang Woo! kasi kanina nagbabasa ako sa Facebook yung pinag-uusapan to hindi ko hmm. gano'n naintindihan yung ilang comments doon kasi bisaya pero pinag-uusapan yung burahin na daw yung konsepto ng regional it's just national cinema so ah. <laughs> mahaba ba ko sa pin yan siguro sa part 2 ng sa pin <laughs> 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 Pero ano, uh, where to follow updates from Ngilngik? Meron kayong website, di ba? Tama ba? Yes, uh, website. Uh, sa Facebook. Uh, ano pong website and Facebook? Uh, sorry, uh, ngilngik.net. Ngilngik.net. Uh, Tapos sa Facebook. Uh, Tapos sa Facebook, syempre, ngilngik. Ano ba may kita dun sa website? Ano pa yung ibang... Actually, last ano yun eh last year na program programs pa nandoon so yun din ang ano dapat magawa na namin chine ko hari pa lang website na yun ko hari lang ano baka hindi mo na check lately ganyan charot joke lang <laughs> pero anyways ayan maraming maraming salamat ulit sa mga nakwentuhan natin ngayong gabi at ngayong araw for Miss Melissa <laughs> Kasi hindi talaga hindi talaga ako inform ni Jane na international pala yung guest natin. So ngayong gabi maraming maraming salamat sa mga nakakwentuhan natin. Uh, nag-announce na nga pala si Tito Perry ng winner. So ang winner daw po natin si Bagane, first runner up daw po si Jay. Yun po yung winner natin sa Miss Universe Quarantines Edition. Anong anong premyo? May premyo ba? Wala, ikikiss kayo ni Tito Perry ng ano, beso-beso pag wala ng quarantine. <laughs> Para si Tito Perry na bahala magpa-beer. Yes. Pakilista na lang po. <laughs> so, okay. Maraming maraming salamat sa kasama natin. Uh, Direk Bagane of Minyi, Jay Rosas, Pasalitay. Ay, yung guest. Yung guest ko si Ruel. 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 din po. Ayan. Sana sinaman ako pa natin sa kwentuhan. Si, ano, si Sir. Ano nga uling name? Ruel. Ruel. Ayan. Also, Watch. Miss Melissa. Maraming salamat, Miss Melissa Barrel. Uh, Barrera, Joseph M, Joseph Malabar, maraming salamat, Joy Dalman, and Pia Duran, maraming maraming thank salamat. Thank you din, thank ng- you so much. Magkakaroon pa tayo ng batch 2 for Ngilnig, uh, kasi pinaaga natin yung ano Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> Pero expect naman natin, baka yeah, by November, it. nakakwarantine pa rin tayo. So anyway, <laughs> ayan, sabi ni Tito Perry, ang oh, award niya daw yung pagmamahal. So, again, maraming maraming salamat isa. sa mga guests natin. May isang guest pa ako. May pakilala ko sa iyo guest namin. May isang guest pa ako. Yeah. May guest ka pa. Wow, surprise. Malayo. Wow. Lipat kayo naman ng window. Lipat doon. <laughs> so, maraming maraming salamat sa mga nanood kay Tito Perry. Hello daw for a well, sabi ni Tito Perry. Sa mga nanonood sa Quarantimes, abangan nyo pa. Uh, patuloy lang tayo sa pagpapalabas ng mga regional films. Kilalanin natin ng regional films. Maraming po. Uh, may quarantitos kaming ano, paano nga ba nakaka-survive yung mga filmmakers to keep their minds sane. So, pag-usapan dyan, ilan dyan, yung bakit nga ba naghalaman na lahat halos ng filmmakers, ganyan. So, hindi <laughs> 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 ko na ipapasa yung stress sa mga halaman, ganyan. So, abangan nyo yan sa quarantimes at hanggat may quarantine, hanggat wala pa tayong nalalamang desisyon kung plano tayo mga kaligtas, tuloy-tuloy ang quarantines. <laughs> Dahil nagsimula din naman siya nang naka-lockdown tayo, so tuloy-tuloy siya hanggat naka-quarantine tayo. So, siguro magche-change name kapag wala ng COVID. Ayun. Pero, <laughs> again, maraming maraming salamat and good night everyone. Good night po. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Shirts, t-shirts, at yung kaya ni Kwento. Nginunig. Ano yun? Good night. Bye-bye. Sino yun? Bye-bye.